Oh, Luigi! Everybody's favorite older Mario brother. That's a Bigfoot. They're like, they finally found him. So today we're going to be testing your knowledge of different fandoms. Sort of. What do you mean? This is a wrong answers only contest. <laughs> So you're purposely trying to get the wrong answer? I feel like that plays to my strengths, but I don't actually know what that means. Oh, I, I always get wrong answers, so I'm kind of excited about this. So this trend began on Reddit. Essentially, people were asking questions and asking people to misexplain the answer. Basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to ask you some easy questions about some of the best-loved characters from popular fandoms, and you're going to have to explain everything incorrectly, just like the Redditors. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna do good at this. It's something that I know I want to be a fan. I want to talk about this character, and I'm like, I'm not allowed to be. Well, I'm for sure gonna win this one because every time we do a multiple choice thing, I always mess it up. If you say anything that is correct or partially correct in your answers to my questions, you'll get a point. At the end, the person with the least number of points wins. So there's no truth for any of these. Okay, for sure, I'll try my best. This feels like a lot of pressure because there's like infinite things that aren't the correct answer and one thing that is the correct answer, and that's all I'm gonna be thinking about. Here is your first character. What is this character? Name. That guy's name is just man. That's what the M stands for, man. His name's Lorenzo with a uh, lowercase L. Oh, Luigi, everybody's favorite older Mario brother. Oh, this is, um, what's that one dude? Uh, Sonic? Sonic, right? Green man. It's green man because green is his favorite color. This is Fabio. Fabio Esmelancio, uh, you know, Meatball Galio. That's his full name. This is the stupidest thing. What does this character do for a living? I heard he's a plumber. I don't know if that's correct in any terms. Mario is a plumber, so that is technically correct. Oh, I didn't even think about that. He's actually an electrician. His brother was a plumber and he was trying to outshine him. That was a correct answer. No, I don't think so. Man works at Walmart. He sells the overalls. He's a dentist. He goes by every dentist office and he's just making sure. He's kind of like a health inspector almost. Green man likes to, for his work, invest in stocks. So that's why greens is because of money, you know, so it's his favorite thing, so it's his favorite color. And what does this character love to collect? He really is into collecting overalls. He likes to collect the overalls he sells. He uses his Walmart employee discount to buy more overalls. This character loves to collect old Yeezy sneakers. Not brand new ones, old ones used. Faces. It's dark, but that's what Nintendo wanted. Fabio loves, this is gonna get real weird. Fabio just loves collect, um, you know, locks of people's hair. He's going to therapy right now, okay? He's just, he's in a rough time. He's just, you have to watch out for Fabio is what it really means, but he's a good guy underneath, I think. Here's your second character. What is this character's name? Oh, that dude. That's Cockroach Dude. This is the jumping frog. This character's name is Building Attacher. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that you guys are showing me Bouncy Boy. This is Batman. Um, his parents got killed like when he was way younger or something like that. He has a pretty dope butler. David, he lives in a super small town. Not a lot of people know him. He has not that many friends. He's absolutely terrified of insects. And what are this character's powers? So Building Attacher's powers is they can basically build a building in a day. He leaps from uh, different buildings in order to find his princess frog because he lost her. Bug guy um, scatters when it's uh, daytime. He'll just leave and be like almost invisible, but you'll see like his legs right before he scatters away. And what does this character want? He just wants every bug in the world to die. He wants the deli to lower its prices on ham sandwiches. He wants a burrito currently on top of the building just looking at like where the closest um, like taco spot is. He once tried to shrink France to put it in his pocket. I don't even think he really wanted it. It was just kind of like a keepsake for memories. Here's your next one. What is this character's name? This per uh, person's name is um, Fishman. She is the, the dancing diva. She um, lives in Seattle. I can't believe you're showing me Percy Jackson. He never gets represented enough in the media. This is Winnie the Pooh. She loves honey. Um, as you can see around her, there's a bunch of bees flying around. This is me! You took a selfie of me, like, I'm in my room. I don't know how you guys got this photo. You know how there's like a lady of the night? She's like 
a lady of the pier. That one little girl from Finding Nemo with braces that goes fishy. Like that was her before she became lady of the pier. What was she doing when this photo was taken? She was summoning fish. That is when she uh, fell into some water. And as you can see, it turned her into some like weird creature. Oh, you know, it was just getting ready for the day. I had some friends over. They stayed over for some reason. This person was dancing in uh, a mirror, obviously. You know, just like we all do after we get out of the shower or something. We were just dancing around. Totally just got out of the showers doesn't live in the ocean or anything. Fabulous hair was trying to have a really good Instagram picture. Tino gets sponsors. And who is she crushing on right now? The fish. That that yellow one to her or it left. His name's John. She is crushing on, you know, her own self-worth. She doesn't really like anyone at the moment. She's just all about herself and figuring herself out. You know, maybe going to college, get a good career. She don't need no man. Right now she's crushing on this one dude named like Oswaldo. He happens to be like a giant uh, jellyfish, and he's actually homies with SpongeBob, and it's like a collab between Disney and Nickelodeon. I don't know what I'm saying right now. What is this character's name? His name is Gandalf the Great. You're really gonna pull up Morgan Freeman on this screen, come on. It's that one dude, f***ing Santa Claus. That is uh, Grandpa. You know, Grandpa's just a sweet, lovable guy. Um, you know, he's like really sad because his wife got ran over by a reindeer once. This is my kindergarten teacher. He was great at reading stories to us. He would read all the time. Oh, Cornelius. Well, they knew that he was gonna be a scholar, um, but he just didn't turn out that way. Grindeldorf here is my pal. We went to Hogwarts many, 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 many years ago. Don't mistake it for Hogwarts. It's definitely Hogwarts. Who is this character's arch nemesis? Who is Morgan Freeman's arch nemesis? Arch nemesis? Are you kidding me? You haven't heard of Samuel L. Jackson? The big eyeball in the sky. Because the eyeball has 20-20 vision and he doesn't. Society. Cornelius doesn't do very well with, you know, set rules and judgments. Him. He's his own arch nemesis because he's always saying really dumb things. His arch nemesis, to be quite honest, uh, is me. We kind of had a falling out. After year four, um, unfortunately, I became like uber popular, got like a dope scar, and everybody wanted to know who I was, and he couldn't handle that, so I had to kill him. And what is this character's life motto? Shaggy Dog's life motto is, uh, the bigger the hair, the better. Eat a lot of cookies and play with your deers, I don't know, your reindeers. He loves saying father -fucker. He's like, I want these father tarantulas off this father boat. That's his most iconic quote. If you're gonna do it, just just do it. Nike actually copied it off of him. Yeah, so uh, Merlin definitely should put in a copyright files. All right, you've got one more character. What is this character's name? Ah! Oh, I was singing. This guy is a singer. He goes by the name of um, the vocalizer. That's a Bigfoot. Or like they finally found him. This is me after two weeks of not showering after practices. This is a sad puppy commercial. He's looking for a home. His name's Alfred. His name is Stuart Little. See, it's funny because he's really tall. So his friends called him Little. This is Alexander. Oh, this is my ex. Such blue eyes. I still get lost in them. He's such a bastard. What social cause do they fight for? Um, not to be seen. He's really upset that this picture was taken. That's why he looks so angry right here. Point Tooth is a very hard vegan. He fights for natural resources and preservation of wildlife areas. Alexander was humanitarian. 100%. He did love everyone except for me. Alfred loves, 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 um, pineapples on pizza. He tries to get out to the public a lot and just make sure that everyone at least tries it before saying no. And what is this character's catchphrase? Get lit, that's it. Woo! It's actually a misconception that he has kind of a garbled rough voice. It's actually very like soft, like a flute. Vocalizer's catchphrase was something of a which is actually very similar to Tarzan, but Tarzan has a little bit more vibrato to it, and the vocalizer is like very grungy, deep. He's a dark kind of artist. You did it, you survived, wrong answers only. I don't feel good about myself. Well, congratulations, I don't think you got anything right. Yes, that was fun. <laughs> so you did a really good job, you did say a couple of things that were correct, but for the most part- Did I? No, that's a, no, who? You called Chewbacca tall. 
Oh, I did. It's so hard to lie about things that you're so passionate about. So like for me, I was passionate about Marvel and passionate about Star Wars. It was just hard because now that like I know him, my brain doesn't want to come up with the wrong answers. It's like, wait, what are you doing? Stop. Like, you know, you actually know this. Say what you know. Do you know what this is? This is basically me displaying my essay writing skills for the last 14 years because they were straight b bullshit. Thanks for watching us play Wrong Answers Only on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every day. Who gave the best wrong answers? Let us know in the comments. Bye, everyone. Hey, fam. React producer Mary here. Be sure to subscribe to FBE and to React for even more great episodes every single day. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!